everybody, I'm Delicia, and thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. So today I'm excited to be unboxing another very special shipment from Luxury Cigar Club. Of course, I am a Palladium member as well as a Core member, which we can get into shortly, where I'll show you all the goodies that are here this month, which of course I know a lot of you watching are already members and very happy ones at that because you guys love to post your comments about which cigar you're getting excited to smoke or hey you got that one too in your shipment all that fun stuff so i love the comments please keep them coming and if you're not yet a member definitely a great time to sign up because there are a variety of choices something for everybody out there including as i mentioned the core membership which is really like the best deal out there. It's under 20 bucks. It's $18.99 and it comes with a minimum of three cigars, but there was a month, I wanna say it was last month, where I actually got six cigars in that one. So again, they're gonna range in um, how many cigars you get with the core membership, but again, it's a minimum of three cigars for $18.99. It's a great, great deal and a way to kind of if you're again not yet a member uh, to maybe get your foot in the door with Luxury Cigar Club or if you're an existing member you can always add that on and you can either you know enjoy the extra cigars or gift it or use it for you know when you have those uh, random guests that come over that like to get into your cigar stash it's a nice way to uh, to share those things with friends of ours so um, that being said, again, I mentioned I am a Palladium member. It is a membership of five cigars minimum, and it's $53.95 a month, and I love it. It's worth every penny. It's always well over, um, you know, the value in here is always well over what I'm actually paying. It's usually right around like $70 to $75 worth of cigars. And again, I'm only paying the $53.95. It is a steal. They do have different tiers of membership. So there is a gold, there's a diamond, there's a platinum, which has been sold out for quite some time, I believe, but they do have like an email interest list. So if there's an, a current membership that you're interested in, that's not available at the moment when you're on there you can sign up for their interest list one of the things i recently noticed when i was on their website is that they have added some really really cool accessories including the manny idiarte um, opus fuente beautiful like ellie blue type of cutter and um, if i've seen them in person they are absolutely gorgeous that was just one of the cool accessories but there's a number of really nice accessories as well as you know, different levels of cigars. So if you're somebody that is also a member, but you're looking to add on some of the favorite cigars that you maybe received in your shipment, you can jump on there and you can get, you know, single sticks, five packs, 10 packs, a box, you know, whatever it may be. So be sure to take advantage of that. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into my box and see what's in here. So the Palladium is shipped this way here. Oh, there went my sticker. There's always the nice little thank you card, which has all the information about the cigars on the inside of this box, which, oh my goodness, I'm always super excited. And then I love the little tissue paper bed because it protects, it protects the cigars from getting banged around too much with the mail service. Sometimes that happens. So it ensures that your cigars are delivered to you um, intact and really protected and very happy and ready to smoke. So, And they always come in this nice little baggie with a Bovida pack to keep them properly humidified and again, ready to smoke. And I would be lighting one up, but I think, I think I've said it now multiple times. I've learned that on my unboxing videos when I'm trying to smoke a cigar and open the box and show you the cigars, it just ends up with an ashy mess and my cigar goes out. So um, my apologies if you find it less entertaining that I'm not smoking, but trust me, if I can do it, then you know, bear with me. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh my goodness, I have heard good things about this and I have not smoked it yet and I'm super stoked. This is the Room 101 12th Anniversary Toro. Man, this is beautiful. So, we have a uh, Nicaraguan Puro from Matt Booth, 6x52. And it says that Matt Booth from Room 101 has created an anniversary cigar for the last three years. The newest release commemorates 12 years as a brand. Booth is a man who prides himself in his versatility as an artist. Anything from casting jewelry to creating a piece of art you can smoke. The 12th anniversary is limited to 
um, a, a thousand and one boxes of 20 cigars, and if history repeats itself, they will disappear rather quickly. This Nicaraguan puro was rolled at AJ Fernandez's factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Expect bold notes of coffee, earth, chocolate, and sweetness. Very nice. So we have at Room 101 Cigars. This one has an $11 MSRP on it, and it's gorgeous. I love the color of the band. This is just pretty, and it's ever so subtle, a little bit of rose gold, you know, on the one of the leaves of the flowers as well as the 12. So very cute. I like it. Next up, we have the Lost and Found Miami Side Robusto. So it's a medium profile Ecuadorian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. It's a six and a quarter by 52 stick. It says, we've all heard of Robert Caldwell, the man behind Caldwell Cigars and Lost and Found. Lost and Found is a pet project of Caldwell's. He searches factories, storage rooms, and anywhere else there might have rare, aged, and limited cigars or tobacco. After locating his wares, the Caldwell touch is added, creating something truly special. Boasting an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper filled with a three-country blend of tobacco, this cigar brings a medium experience. Flavors of baking spices, earth, and nuts will carry you all the way. Very nice. This one has an MSRP of $13. And you can find them on Instagram at Lost and Found Cigars. Ooh, and then we have this fancy one here. We all are prob probably familiar, very familiar now with the Byron. So 9th century, this is the Petite Poemas, medium profile, Ecuadorian wrapper, undisclosed binder, and Nicaraguan filler along with some undisclosed filler. So it's a partial mystery. <laughs> Um, four by 50, we have the From Nelson Alfonso, the Petit Poemas, comes from the 19th century line of Byron cigars. Developed to replicate the cigars made by Cuban brands in the 19th century, these impressive cigars go through a unique procedure where they age for at least a year at the aging room, then transfer to a special aging facility with variable, variable humidity that creates a one-of-a-kind aging process and spend four years there. Wow, that's impressive. These tremendous cigars are packed with flavor and quality only Alfonso can bring to the table. There is no shortage of nuanced flavors to dissect in this masterpiece. And this baby has an MSRP of $21 and you can find them at United Cigars. Um, so basically five years of aging, one year in a regular aging room and four additional years in a super top-notch special aging facility. I don't know who has the patience for that. This guy does right here because I don't. I would be like peeking in there and wanting to smoke those. I, can, I don't know. Sitting on cigars for five years of aging is pretty impressive. So very nice. That takes a very special kind of person. I'm happy to um, be able to be a recipient of that. <laughs> so hopefully you are too. Moving along to the Quesada Oktoberfest 10th anniversary. So I actually just posted a review of this cigar. I did not know that it was included in this and I'm very excited because this is a Vitola that I don't have. So I'm excited to try it in this different Vitola to see if the nuances compared to the one that I smoked for the review are you know, similar, very different, just a little bit different. Like it's, I always like to try to compare the different Batolas when possible, but it's an excellent cigar. And again, celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Quesada Oktoberfest. This one is uh, featuring a Mexican San Andres wrapper, Dominican binder and filler. This is the beast mode size of 6x65. This is the Uber. Um, Quesada brings a fresh look to the cigar industry, pushing the envelope with unique Vitolas and equally unique blends. Back in 2011, Quesada released their first cigar that was blended to pair with a typical Oktoberfest beer and aptly named it the same. Each year brings new Vitolas. After 10 years, they have almost 20 different sizes. The blends differ as well. This release being the first of its kind to wear a Mexican San Andres wrapper. Don't let the big ring gauge fool you. This is a medium body cigar bursting with hints of nuts and cocoa. And this one has an MSRP of 1080. You can find them at Quesada Cigars and 
this particular cigar was blended to pair with a variety of beers. So if you are somebody who likes the whole Oktoberfest season or you are a beer fan, this is a fantastic cigar and you will really enjoy it. Even if you're not a beer person, you will enjoy that cigar even by itself. It's super flavorful and it has really nice aging to it. So last but not least, we have the Escobar Maduro Double Toro Extra Medium Profile, also using a Mexican San Andres wrapper, um, Indonesian binder, Nicaraguan filler, six by 56 on the Vitola. It says, if you are a fan of modern rap music or the classics, you've heard of one of Escobar's owners, Nas, of course. Started in Queensbridge, New York and finalized in Nicaragua, this company has been years in the making but the time has come for them to be shared with the world. These exceptional cigars are made in Nicaragua and utilize tobacco from all over. The Maduro line wears a Mexican San Andres wrapper, an Indonesian binder, Nicaraguan fillers. When put together, creates a smooth, medium experience. You can find subtle notes of cream, baking spices, and earth. MSRP of $13.50 at Escobar Cigar. Very cool. Um, I like the whole started in... Queensbridge, New York, and then finalized in Nicaragua. Very cool background. A uh, huge fan of Nas, by the way, so I'm excited to try that one. I always love when there's any sort of musical influence in the background of any of the cigar stories. That's always very cool. So, um, yeah, really, really awesome on that one. And then, of course, this one is coming in um, right right about 70 bucks. And again, I mentioned it earlier when I was introducing the Palladium that it's usually ranges from about 70 to 75 bucks of value for only paying the 54 bucks basically. So that's um, an awesome, awesome value and really cool cigars. Very excited. Next up we have the core membership and this one again is housed a little more humbly. Just kind of basic packaging, lets you know the branding, that it's the core membership, has a QR code on here that you scan with your phone that takes you basically to a digital version of this card right here, which tells you about the cigars that you're receiving. Also comes on this little bed of kind of like the little popcorn to keep your cigars protected. So this month we have three beautiful sticks and of course that nice little boveda pack and i'll go ahead and scan the qr code because i like to read what they have to say so we have um some familiar this is the lambert ocean breeze um, this one was in a previous shipment and i really enjoyed it it was very fresh if that makes sense um I like the name and it kind of got into my head and I feel like that was the experience that I had smoking it. It was just like, just a fresh cigar. If I don't know, it's kind of cool. So this one is an Ecuadorian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, undisclosed filler, five by 54. Ocean Breeze is the second release from Dr. Stefan Lampert's brand, Lampert Cigars. We recently included the Lampert 1675 in one of the boxes and it was so well received that we had to follow it up. This is a cigar that truly means something to Lampert. Something reminiscent of vacation, the salty air that rushes past you in a coastal town. The tobacco is grown near the sea <clears throat> and stored there, which is credited with giving it slightly salty taste from start to finish. Perfectly balanced, prepare yourself for your own mini vacation. MSRP of $11 at Lampert Cigars. You can find them. And this little baby right here, I have also done a review on. This is a beautiful stick. This is actually Luxury Cigar Club's own brand. This is the Hangry, and um, who can't relate with that, right? But this one is a gorgeous little Lancero, very flavorful. This is the Hangry by Martinez. Again, a Luxury Cigar Club exclusive. It's a beautiful Lonsdale, full-bodied Mexican wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, seven by 44. And it says, to say that Hangry was a passion project would be an understatement. Our partnership with Martinez Cigars is one that runs deep, and this collaboration proves it. Hand rolled in New York City in a 500 square foot building, this exceptional blend will leave you satisfied. Using the finest Mexican San Andres wrapper that has been aged for five years, Nicaraguan Jalapa binder from 2016, and Nicaraguan Seco mixed with Nicaraguan Esteli Viso 
both from 2018. Expect hearty chocolate notes that melt nicely with coffee, nuts, and earth. Yes, very, very accurate and such a beautiful cigar. This one has an MSRP of $16 and you can obviously find them at Luxury Cigar Club. Last but not least, we have the Sinistro Mr. Red in a Toro this time. Um, very nice. I like this brand. I've discovered them in some previous shipments and really come to like them. Again, this is one of those brands where if I was just walking into a brick and mortar, I probably wouldn't have tried it. So it's nice to receive certain cigars that again are somewhat newer or newer to me brands. And that way it's kind of like, you know, it's in your, it's in your shipment. So of course you're going to try it and then you try it and you're like, oh, this is great. And you're very happy that you did. So that's the case here. This one is a medium profile, Mexican wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, Nicaraguan, Dominican and US on the filler. It's a six by 50. Sinistro cigars are hand rolled in the Dominican Republic at the La Aurora factory, which is known for having exceptionally skilled torcedores, boasting a five country blend. The filler leaves are from Nicaragua, the Dominican Republic and the Connecticut River Valley in the US, making it both sweet, mild and savory. This Toro features a smaller than typical ring gauge and allows you to fully taste and understand the nuances of this atypical blend. Expect notes of coffee, chocolate with a Dominican sweetness. This one has an MSRP of $7.71 and you can find them at Sinistro Cigars. And the value here, again, it's a steal because if you were to buy all three of these cigars individually, you'd be paying $34 and change. Um, ordering them in the core membership, you're paying $18.99. Kind of a no brainer. So it's a great deal. This one, especially to me, the core is like, you can add it on to, like I said, if you have an existing membership or if you're just kind of like, Hey, I already have a couple clubs and I'm not sure if I want to get, you know, another one or hey, you know, the spouse is mad at me. I'm spending too much on cigars. The core membership, it's like, it's so inexpensive and you're getting three really nice cigars for a steal of a price. And again, you just prove that the value is there because if you were to buy them individually, you'd be spending more. So it's a great deal. And I know those of you who are members are always happy because you guys tell me and I love to hear that. So um, my question to all of you watching is, um, I have already reviewed the Oktoberfest and other than that, and the Hangry, and other than that, I don't think I have reviewed any of the other cigars in the shipment. So post your comments below and let me know if there's a special cigar that stood out to you that you would like to see me review. Cause if not, I'll probably just smoke through them like I tend to do, but I'm trying to take more of your guys' requests. So is there, again, any cigar that I mentioned in here that stood out to you that you really wanna see a review on, please drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And thanks so much for tuning in. And I love you guys. Thanks for always watching all my videos. You guys rock. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers.